if there is a new mutant which bypasses mm. passes all kinds of immunity then really no no prediction will hold good first of all sir thank you so much for uh, sparing a few minutes for us and uh, welcome to simplified podcast this will be our second episode and we will be discussing how covid has hit india and what is the situation that the country is currently going through and how your model has helped the country and uh, the people in a way to predict the covid peaks and uh, get a futuristic uh, idea of what all things can be uh, done to at least if not solve the problem, then at least curb the uh, spreading of the virus so uh, for the first and the foremost thing i would like to uh, ask is uh, what has the sutra model predicted for the third wave okay so we recently did uh, an analysis a fairly detailed one Uh, about uh, what might happen in future and we considered multiple scenarios uh, now these scenarios consist of uh, a few key assumptions one is uh, mm. regarding loss of immunity so people who were infected yeah. earlier have you no know, immunity at develop an immunity not all of them retain it there are studies which uh, indicate that uh, up to 20% people may actually lose immunity so we have uh, incorporated that and make a certain assumption we taken a very conservative uh, assumption that 20% lose immunity also since delta variant uh, is uh, has a more let's say immunity by passing property so we also assume that those who were infected in the first wave 40% of them have lost immunity now and similarly about uh, the rate of vaccination how fast vaccination is happening we have made two different uh, pessimistic uh, numbers and optimistic numbers and then uh, the assumptions regarding when if at all a new mutant which is more infectious will strike and Uh, when will it strike and finally uh, how it, uh, effective are vaccine there are various studies which show that 60 to 80% of people get immunity after vaccination two rounds of vaccination so again we have yeah. taken some more conservative view there that 60% 50 to 60% achieve immunity So with all that uh, what we came up with uh, of course multiple scenarios one thing we found is that uh, there is not much uh, difference in the rate of vaccination have an impact other impact of vaccination rate on to the yeah. project is happening or lower rate is the same mm-hmm. and uh, in the case scenario the most pessimistic one in which uh, we are assuming a mutant which is 25% more infectious than delta arrives by august and uh, then we uh, find that there is a third wave will come with a peak at around more than a lakh infections every day so somewhat similar to the first peak on the other hand if this mutant doesn't arrive and we still stay with similar lean infection mutants then uh, the peak will be half of that so roughly at the same time so all in all it doesn't look like that uh, third wave is going to be very significant yeah that was uh, actually going to be my follow up question that will it be as lethal as the second one because uh, we saw nearly 4 lakh um, cases being registered and uh, it was pretty scary for the nation as a whole so that was going to be my follow up question will will it be as lethal as the second one uh, no like i just said it is a number of the case load will be much lower also in addition mm-hmm. to that one has to keep in mind that even though we are saying that uh, vaccination 
will uh, render uh, uh, will have you know, those who get vaccinated or those who develop immunity now may lose immunity but those who lose immunity they still even if they can get infected uh, they mostly the infections are asymptomatic very mild so the load on hospitals will be even lower therefore yeah. it would not be uh, probably even lower than the first wave situation so oh, one okay. should not uh, expect uh, uh, a very scary scenario in future uh, of course this is this is assuming under assumption one there is always this caveat that if there is a new mutant which bypasses passes mm. all kinds of immunity then really no no prediction will hold good okay yeah but uh, given the current things that have been happening in the news people have been flocking to hill stations uh, completely they don't care about or any covid norm for that matter do you think this will play a role uh, in the upcoming third wave that uh, we are probably predicting will, will be happening uh no <laughs> uh you know there is a clear difference between the situation before second wave and now before yeah. second wave also there was a lot of crowding uh, people were just moving uh, mixing very rapidly but at that time silently the delta variant was spreading in the country and by people moving and mixing it allowed that spreading to move very fast and that's why we yeah. got hit very badly as of now mm. uh yes delta variant is still there but a large fraction of population has already become immune because they were infected by this yeah. variant and have recovered so this uh, large crowding etc will in yeah, sure will increase the spread rate but it will no be nowhere close to what happened in the second wave because the large fraction is now immune only and when there is a new variant which is uh, not a lot of people are not immune to that that such you know crowding will have a serious impact like share subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss any updates from samachar